dispensation of, of the church where they preached against having money because they felt like money or having money was the was the root of all evil. That's right. And those that had stuff, you know, they couldn't be spiritual because they ain't doing nothing but raping them for. Well, it could be. But also, you have to look at the fact that when it comes down to the, the issue of spiritual maturity, they were mature enough to be advanced by God. That's right. See, the reason why you don't have more is because you don't know how to do more. That's right. And a lot of saints stay broke and we will spiritualize our state of existence <laughs> as this is the will and plan of God. Uh -huh. Because Jesus said, I came to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or, or think. Amen. 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 He said, I bless you with all, you know, Ephesians chapter 1, you've been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places right. in Christ. And so we make the mistake of thinking that having no money or where I am is where God wants you to be. No, sir. You have to understand from a spiritual standpoint that your lack, your lack sets the kingdom of God back. Mm -hmm. Money is a defense. Mm -hmm. And a lot of spiritual attacks that come against the church can go away. Yeah. Amen. Look at the Catholic church. Very well. Uh, you know why? Because money is a defense. Pedophiles. But you know why? Ain't heard the church. Pope man, he ain't lost not one bit of sleep. <laughs> he ain't lost no sleep. They gonna deal with them, but they ain't lost no sleep. Do you not understand that they are so rich that the Vatican is a city within a city? Yeah. Right. That they have their own currency? Yeah. <clears throat> Amen. You would have to take literally a armed force, a militia, an army to overthrow the Vatican. Mm -hmm. It's because they got money. You know why people don't, don't pay attention to us? They got money. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, folks don't pay attention to broke folk. That's true. They will put up with you as long. And that's why you know people are asking me about some of the marches that go on in the city. You gonna join that march and you know this, that, other no. Well, why not? Yep. Because as soon as the cameras cut off, they're going to send you home. Yep. They ain't thinking about you. Money gives you a platform uh -huh. in which to preach the gospel. Yes, Amen. 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 You ain't got no money, you ain't got no voice. Right. How is that backed up? I'm not going to go to read Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Right. It talks about a poor wise man. That there was a there was a war or some 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 uh -huh. uh, people that came against the city, uh -huh. and the Bible says that he built great bulwarks against it, and he saved the entire city. Mm -hmm. But afterwards, the Bible says that they forgot that same poor wise man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Because you ain't got a lot of you folks studying you. They will use you, yes. and they will send you home. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> wow. And that's what happens to us in the church. Yep. And we get mad. Mm -hmm. you know? Y'all don't recognize this anointing. No, they recognize it. But you have to understand that for a lot of us in the body of Christ, and hear me when I say this, hear my heart when I say this, the amount of money oftentimes would equate to the amount of anointing you have. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you ain't got no money means you ain't anointed. My mm -hmm. God, my God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because Amen. <laughs> he came to preach the acceptable year. Amen. He came to preach the acceptable year <laughs> of the Lord. He says you can't serve God and mammon. Mm -hmm. You can't do both. Mm -hmm. You see, we have to make the decision because kingdom economics and world economics are two different things. Mm -hmm. You can't live in a democracy. You can't do what a democracy says to do and think that you can embrace the kingdom. Mm -hmm. A lot of us, the majority of us in the body of Christ have not embraced kingdom economics. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's foreign to us. We still uh, see. We still wrestle. We we still think we're doing good with that four one k. You know, you check that every now and then, but you don't understand. You, you don't understand how the money's getting there. You don't know what they're doing with all they tell you. Seven, ten. You got some piece of paper every month says I got this much money there. And you think you're doing all right? That's not kingdom. Amen. See, because if you can't consciously listen, kingdom will put you in the mindset that I can consciously say. The same amount they're taking out of my paycheck. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, yeah. That's what kingdom does. Yeah. Yeah. You want to operate in the kingdom? Save it yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a cop out. Because you just said, you just, well, they just let them just take it out of my check. And I ain't got to see it, I ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> That's what happened to folk in Enron. Uh -huh. right. 25 years later, uh -huh. they working at Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they working at Walmart. 
Because that's what it is. Because kingdom demands that you take over. Yep. Yes. Amen. You have to take control. The Bible says in Luke 22, that, listen, Jesus said to the apostles, I, listen, I confer to you a kingdom. Come on. As God has conferred on me. Mm -hmm. And if you are a king, that means every kingdom, listen, has a king. Mm -hmm. And God says, I'm giving you a kingdom as God has given me one. Mm -hmm. And if you have a kingdom, that means that kingdom has boundaries. Mm -hmm. That also that your kingdom, listen, your kingdom has subjects. Mm -hmm. There are people that are relying on their quality of life in that commonwealth. And their increase is tied to what you do. And if you can't do nothing better than what you're doing right now, they're going to be lost. See, we don't see the nature of what God is trying to get us to do in the kingdom. So that's a principle you have to understand. Because he said, listen, I'm going to put you out. He said, I'm going to cast you out. And you're looking at this from Luke chapter 16, not having money, you borderline sin. You're borderline. I know you're in the flesh. Because in the kingdom, listen, is Jesus broke? Nope. No. Now we say we'll testify Jesus lives on the, in, on the inside of me. <laughs> Amen. We'll testify all day. Well, He's living on the inside of me. Is Jesus broke? That's right. <laughs> then why are we broke? Yeah. Amen. Come on. See, that's why I need to go first. Y'all will shout loud. Y'all will shout loud. <laughs> So you have to understand now. Let me do, and Tom, let, let, let me flip that. One more scripture. We'll, we'll close it out with this. Matthew chapter 25. Good. Amen. Matthew 25. Look at this. Let me give you this last question. Parallel of talents. Because we have, listen, we are notorious for doing things wrong. Again, it is it, your borderline sin, understand, by way of principle. If you're going to recover all, you have to change your mind into a place. Yes. You can't be living from paycheck to paycheck. That's right. That is a curse. You are, you are bound. You've got to break free. Yes. Amen. Yes. You've got to set things in order. Now, how do I set things in order? Let me give you this right quick. The first thing you do is you tithe. You have to tithe. Amen. The tithe is not just a tenth. It is the first tenth. It means everything in the world because God says if you cannot honor me first, then nothing else matters. You cannot, uh, listen, you cannot bring in the, 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 the blessings of the Lord. Cheating God. You can't do it. The tithe is the first tenth. But now, how now do I set my things in order? Very simple. And this is all biblical. The first tenth goes to God. The second tenth goes to you. I would, yeah, Pastor, it amazes me how many individuals will work 40 hours, 50 hours, 60 hours a week and have, listen, we have more drive and determination to pay due power and every other bill but you. You will pay everybody else, but won't pay yourself. And then we throw off on this 401k mess. Because again, the mindset of kingdom is that you have to be conscious about your situation. Right. Proverbs 27, I believe it is, it means it says that you have to be diligent to know the state of affairs of your flocks. Right. Which means that you have to take a conscious effort. You have to make a conscious effort yeah. in knowing and listen and applying the principles to make sure you have increase. That's right. Mm -hmm. So let somebody else do it. You got to do it yourself. Amen. You know that you're blessed. Why? Because I can say, listen, my 401k got 50000 But you know what? I got 50000 in my savings account right now. Why? Because I do it myself. Amen. I do it myself. So we got to understand. So now, the parable of talents, he tells us, listen, let me give you this right quick. We know this story. We've re read it before. He had one individual with five talents, one with two, one with one. Break it down, let me give it to you in quick, fast, and dirty. One talent was equal to $384,000. Mm -hmm. Two talents equal to $768,000. Man with five talents had equivalent to $1.9 million. Yep. Now, he gave to them, the Bible says, according to their ability to handle what he gave. Now, the steward was given $384,000. We know that this person ran and hid that thing in the dirt. Mm -hmm. Amen? Because he was scared. He wasn't scared necessarily. He was just envious and jealous. And he didn't like the fact that this man was making all that he was making. Uh -huh. Amen. But listen, the principle behind that is simply this. And this is what we have to learn from this. God only gives you based on your ability to handle it. Right. Yeah. The reason why you see people with more in the kingdom is because they know how to handle it. Right. Amen. Now, how does that apply? Me and my wife as an example. Listen, um, can't give you all no business. But let me just tell you this. <laughs> Went from a place where it's... Uh, Worked on a job, worked for somebody else. We went all the way down. We had good credit, went all the way down, lost the job. Was about to get put out of the house. Lost about three cars in one year. 